<laughs> oh, you guys. You guys. This is it. This is it, you guys. This is our credit roll. So, I'll say thanks first while this is going. Uh, and then we'll do some Q&A. Um, I did not at all expect this when I got cast as the voice of Claude. I'm gonna I'm gonna come a little bigger over here to talk to you guys for a second. I did not in any way expect the absolutely amazing warm welcome that all of you guys gave me into the Fire Emblem community. When you you know, as an actor, you're always going through roles and stuff like that and, and hunting the next gig. Uh, I don't know that anything has meant as much to me as an actor, as an artist, than Fire Emblem Three Houses. And I think the major reason that it has meant what it has meant to me is because of you guys. Uh, you have been unceasingly kind and generous in your support, in the way that you treat each other, which has been the most impressive of all of it, is that underneath the banner of the Golden Deer came together a group of people with similar passions, but very different lives and very different personalities. And together you formed the Schmoes. I, uh, I am so proud of all of you for doing what you do every day. Even in times that are now, these dark times that we're in, you reach out to each other and you support one another. And uh, the fact that I could be a catalyst in any small part for that kind of love between you guys is an honor and a privilege. So thank you so much. Um, this is obviously not the end for us. The community doesn't go away with the game. The schmoes are here. The schmoes are going to be hanging out, playing games, talking about nerd stuff. Who knows? Maybe we'll uh, we'll find another game in the future that's as meaningful to us as Fire Emblem is. But in the meantime, we're still going to be having fun. We're still going to be hanging out with each other. We're still going to be supporting each other in our private Discord, in the chat, on Twitter, all the places we interact with each other. So, uh, yeah, the stream is not going away. And I hope neither are you guys, because it wouldn't be the same without you. So, yeah. Mons, uh, let's run a little print giveaway while the credits are going. You guys know, you guys know the deal. And let's see. I don't know what the move bottle come out with it too. Super nice slow jam of this. Did I miss myself in the credits? Or is this the just the Japanese credits? Laters, put laters in the chat if you want a chance to win a signed print. We are very much nearing the end of our last Fire Emblem stream. I'm gonna enter. <laughs> yes! I'm gonna win that print. If if I win the print, I will I will give away two more prints. How about that? Um, will I play Ashen Wolves eventually? I think so. Um, honestly, I'd really like to play Crimson Flower. I would like to get inside Edelgard's head. We talk. Hey, there I am, guys. That's me. And there I go. Bye, everybody. One of the best parts, honestly. One of the best parts, before I talk about that, one of the best, these names right here, these names coming up and down, 
They are such awesome people. All of them. I mean, I can't say that for sure. I haven't met all of them. But all the ones that I met, they are phenomenal. Uh, Fire Emblem has introduced me to some great friends and has brought me closer to some others. And uh, it has been just such a freaking awesome experience. Um, having us just kind of get to know each other better. And uh, they did such a great job. The Cup of Tea people, they are my family. They are some of the best people in Los Angeles. I love them so much. Uh, not just for what they do for me, but what they do for actors. They are an excellent, excellent studio made of excellent people. And of course, Patrick Seitz, who was our phenomenal, the glue that held this dialogue together. He did a phenomenal, phenomenal job directing. I've been directed lots of times. Patrick is on the ball. And of course, the people at Nintendo who localized this game, I don't think I've seen a game that was localized better than this. I'm sorry. It's it's so good. It's so good, the writing was good, and all that stuff. All right, let's pick a winner, mods. And while this is rolling, let me take a look at general Q&A. There's nothing in general Q&A. There's a couple. You guys can start asking questions once the chat slows down. Easy Kitty asks, who's your favorite Fire Emblem character that isn't Claude? Um... You know what's stupid? Now that we're all at the end of this, you know who I think probably one of my favorite characters is? I think it's Lawrence. I'm sorry. I know that's like, what a twist, right? But he's just so entertaining. Ben did a great job playing him. And like, he's just, he's just a great character. Like, I love to hate him. I love so much to hate Lawrence. So yes, he's one of my favorite characters. Uh, Morganics would like me to say, ooh, ooh. I think that's how you say that. Is that how, I've only ever seen it typed. I've never heard anybody say it. Ooh, 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 ooh. Amazing Mirror asks, is cereal a soup? Yes. Pluto asks, have I played any Dark Souls games before? Um, I don't, I have played them. I don't want to say I don't like them, but they frustrate the hell out of me. And I wouldn't want you guys to see me play the same boss for six hours on stream. Uh, Yuki asks, um, is Ace Attorney something I see myself streaming in the future? If you guys think it would be fun to stream, I'm happy to try anything out. I think, uh, to answer what I'm sure a lot of people are wondering is what we're going to stream next. We're going to do Deer Simulator on Thursday. And then on Tuesday, we're going to pick up some Animal Crossing. I don't think I'm going to like Animal Crossing. And we may turn it into a funny stream where I just kind of like sh** on Animal Crossing for two hours. If that's funny. Just make it funny. Uh, so we may try that. Another idea we had, um, for games in the future. If you guys don't know, um... I am a prior Air Force officer. I was an intelligence officer. Uh, if you don't know what that means, look it up. Uh, and we had one idea of maybe leaning kind of hard on that and be like, an intelligence officer plays Hitman. And we'll talk about some stuff. Or like, you know, stuff that's pretty, in, uh, um, you know, in that world. I think that might be kind of fun. Uh, yeah, people seem kind of excited about that. Yeah, okay. Yeah, Intel Officer plays Metal Gear. It won't just be me telling you what's wrong with everything, but I think that'd be kind of fun. So I may do something that's a little bit more themed more towards my military career and my experience in Intel. Um, Zentari asked, with Claude being a very layered, complicated character, can you elaborate on your process of developing the character of Claude? When I was going through like, kind of becoming Claude, for lack of a better word. Um, it, since we kind of went mostly sequentially, sequentially, I kind of went with it. I didn't do a lot of prep for Claude. I very rarely do prep for characters, most of the time because I don't have... I don't have the script. I don't have anything to go off of, so... Uh, I didn't really go through that much of a process. NB Tune actually says, uh, you did a career shift from Air Force to voice acting. 
How was it making the shift? <clears throat> the shift was was interesting. I held on to the, the government job a lot longer than I probably need to. Um, I wanted to make, I had a family to take care of, so I needed to make sure that I was good with them. So yeah, it was the changing focus. I still feel like I'm changing focus. So I don't really know how I manage that pretty well. Double O three D asks: Was there any part of the three houses story that touched your heart, especially on a personal level? Really, like, it wasn't one specific part. It was it was these relationships, right? It was uh, it was building relationships with a bunch of different people and going through something with them. That was really the cool part. JBS, what do you see in Claude that you see in yourself? I guess not really taking a whole lot seriously. Always ready to make a snarky comment. Claude fit me really well. Um, new rule, can you give a graduation speech for your Golden Deer graduates? I think I just kind of gave one. Athena, why don't you think you'll enjoy Animal Crossing? I don't play games that don't end in general, right? I don't like Stardew Valley. I don't like Minecraft. I don't like stuff that just kind of like goes on and on. That doesn't really have like a point. I don't play games to relax. I do, but I, I don't play games to induce relaxation. Uh, I play games to experience stories, so that's why I don't think I'll enjoy Animal Crossing. But it'll be fun to, yeah. Kaya asks favorite soundtrack. I like the battle, the pre time skip battle theme. I like that a lot. Carbesics asked what made Fire Emblem Three Houses a good localization. Asking because I want to be a localizer. So, um, there's a lot. The writing was good. They had a full team of writers working on it, not just like one person. The translation was translating intent, not just verbiage, right? So if you want to translate someone who is sarcastic in Japanese into English, you can't just translate the words. You have to find idioms, expressions, colloquialisms in English that work to make somebody sound sarcastic. If you were going to ask something to somebody in English, right, and you were going to kind of imply it, that what they just said was dumb. You would probably add at the beginning of your sentence, so like, like that, right? So like, you're, you think that cereal is soup, right? That doesn't translate. You can't put so like in J Japanese and the same works in the reverse. So that's just some tips. Any tips for up and coming voice actors? Amazing Mirror asks that may need help with enunciation. Read a lot. Read out loud a lot. Don't wait for somebody to hire you. That's too late. Just read out loud a lot. Manlet, do you prefer the East or West Coast? That's tough. Um, gun to my head, I might choose East. But that's because I grew up there and you got to respect your roots. But they, have, they both have their benefits. Um... Pluto asks, how many, how long do I plan to be on voice acting? Until they kick me out. Uh, Bonnie asks, has being involved with Three Houses made you discover anything about yourself or something new you enjoy to do? I honestly never, ever, ever thought I would enjoy, I don't want to say managing a community because I'm not managing the community. You guys are managing yourselves, but like being in charge of a community like this being a catalyst, the head honcho, the king of the schmo. I didn't think that I would enjoy that, but man, I do. Um, this has helped me kind of like, I don't know, just reach out to people more and, and interact with people more. It's weird to say that about like an online platform, but... Um, yeah. Where are we? Um, Syoth asks, Joe, will you, when will you fight me in Smash Ultimate? I don't know, maybe once I play Smash Ultimate. Uh, Objector12 asks, do you feel as though Claude's been your most impactful role as a voice actor? As far as interacting with the community, absolutely. Um, and I think in a lot of other ways, too. Uh, yeah, I think, you know, everything impacts you in a, in a different way. It's, it's easy to say that Claude is the most impactful because there's so much interaction going on. But there are a lot of other roles that impacted me personally. Um, Achilles in uh, Fate Apocrypha impacted me 
because that was it was like three years ago that I recorded that and uh, it introduced me I, I pretty much came to Los Angeles knowing nobody at all and that was my first the first time I ever met like Erica Mendez or uh, or Lucian or and Chris Hackney I met shortly after that with Hunter Hunter and I'm really glad to have met them like really glad to have met them and I wouldn't have otherwise so different roles will affect me in, in different ways not always in the actual role itself Jade asks, how was recording Apex of the World for Purple Shallow's arrangement? It's awesome. I love it. Any, anytime I get to do some music, it's great. Solaris asks, what are your theories on Edelgard's motivations? I'm not sure yet. I don't have enough of a background. Uh, Tara and I were talking many months ago about her getting into Edelgard's motivations. Uh, maybe someday when we play Crimson Flower, we'll, you'll hear all those opinions. I have a feeling that that playthrough will be fairly serious. Uh, but we'll see. Um, Carla asks, this is a good question, because the answer is yes. Are you still going to invite other three houses voice actors to your streams, even though your current run is finished? Yes. What I will do with them, I don't know whether that, that'll, like, I'll start a Crimson Flower or some other playthrough with them or something like that. So, yeah. Manlet asks, weird question, not a weird question, do you feel your experience as an officer in the Air Force assists you in your voice acting work? Absolutely. Um, you can't come out of the military unchanged, so, you know, uh, it, it taught me how to be organized, how to be respons responsible, respectable, um, and how to deal with strife. So, it's all, it's all good. Burned asks, what's your favorite of your instruments to play? Have you ever considered doing original compositions for it? I like playing piano the most because it's easy to play piano by yourself. Um, so, like, you know, like, you can play sax, but then, like, going on into, like, a band, that takes a lot of time. Uh, and, yeah, I would love doing original compositions. I've done some little things, but not a whole lot. And we'll do just a couple more. We've gone over three hours now. White Fang asked, would you ever get Lawrence's time skip here if it was the only option at the salon? Time skip? Yes. Pre-time skip? I'd shave that off. I'd shave the head. Don Darko asked, how scary was it to move to another state? Which time? I have moved 11 times in the last 15 years. And after a while, you just get numb to it. It's awful. Just, you gotta suck it up and go. My advice is to put down roots as fast as you can, find a community that you like, find people that you like, they will support you. Guys, that's all the, the Q&A I'm going to...